So we uh, noted that the top, the electrons ran away, so it leaves the top partially positive. If they, the electrons run down, what does it leave the bottom? Negative. So the bottom's negative. What about right here? Is that far away from the ball? Yeah. Yeah, so that's negative. What about, oh, and now I, I messed it up. It's okay. I fixed it. Yay. So this bottom part is negative. This arm is negative. negative. What does a negative and a negative do? Repel. Oh. They repel. Oh. So to diagram this out, I want you guys to watch what I'm doing because there's going to be some very, very important parts that we'll put in here. So this is far away. <clears throat> so here's my rod. It's negative. So this is net negative. This is neutral. I'll give you time to draw it if you guys just look we'll, we'll up. Now, second. Okay, let's see. One, two, three positives, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So, my rod is now, we're going to say, close. Close has a very specific term now. Close means it's close, but not touching. If something touches, we'll tell you it touches. Because that's, we'll, we'll talk about what that is. So it's close. Now obviously we know the arm moves. So we can draw the arm in moved. Now, what's the freebie to draw arm to the electroscope? Easiest part because they're never going to move the protons. It's catching up. So let's see. Three, four, one, two, one. There we go. Now, the electrons that were in the ball, so that guy, that guy, that guy, probably even that guy, do they want to be up close to that negative rod? That's no, might not be true. They want to be close to that. No. 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 So electrons can move. So what we're going to draw, a big arrow pointing down, showing that the electrons ran away. Now, all the electrons will not run away. So we'll leave one back there. Thanks, Mesa. Did you? So if those two ran down, and maybe this guy ran away a little bit. So maybe he's down. Let's see, and I originally had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think, electrons. That means down here are going to be nine electrons. Because the electrons can't just disappear, they can only run away. So I'll put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when I look at this, up at the top, if I just look here, I have three positives and one negative. Now, that little bit, is it positive or negative? Positive. Positive. So what we're going to call this is partial positive, or a local, or a local positive. Down here in this area, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 positives, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six positive, or I mean ten negatives, like six positives. What can you say about the arm? Okay. Local. What can you say about the stem? It is local. Negative. 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 It's going to repel. Now, if I counted up all of the electrons on the electroscope and compared it to all of the protons, it's still net neutral. Okay. Yeah? 
Yeah. Okay. So, what is the charge on the electroscope? Neutral. Neutral. What is the charge near the top? Positive. Positive near the bottom? Negative. Negative. Okay, let's uh, flip this around. This is not on your sheet, but it's one that you need to know. Now, once again, glass sucks. Okay, so I apologize if it doesn't work right away. What's the charge on the electroscope? Neutral. 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 Okay. What's hopefully the charge on the rod? Positive. 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 I bring this close. We have to think about this. Don't just go right off the bat and say, oh, yeah. What are the only things that can move? Electrons. 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 electrons are Where do electrons, are electrons want? Where do electrons not want to be? That's what we did uh, in the previous electrons. case. Electrons did not want to be by this, so they ran Wait, down. down. But now, they want electrons want to, want to, be electrons want to be with protons. They're like, hey, 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 there's some good looking protons over there. Hey, what do you think about that? Okay? Gross. So. <laughs> Gross, and stick. Okay. So, the protons. So the protons up the top of the ball, where do they run to? They don't run, they're protons. They can't they run. They have no legs. But <laughs> the electrons at the bottom, they say, hey, 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 there's some positives up there. Let's get with those positives. Yay. Yeah, hey, hey. Okay. So the electrons from the bottom run up to the top. What does the charge at the top become? Negative. 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 They ran away from the bottom, so the charge on the bottom positive. is positive. You have a positive and a positive, it repels. It's like a, I don't know, bird? 80s like both names or something. Full name combos. Okay. You guys okay? So, the big idea here, you see the same result. But it's due to different reasons. If I bring a positive thing close to an electroscope, what's going to happen? The arm moves. If I bring a negative thing close, the arm moves. So can I use an electroscope to measure the type of charge? No. No. It can only detect if there is charge. That's why I said it's a charge detector. It's not a charge identifier. What's our only charge identifier that we know? Rubber rod. Rubber rod. You hang it and you say, oh, does it attract? Does it repel? 